Abu Dhabi do! Welcome to the final of season two! Anyone like that poetry? No? Right, let's move on. Yes, this is the final race weekend of my season two campaign of this F123 My Team Career Mode journey. Unfortunately, I've had the issue again where the contracts I had to sign were too early in the calendar and as a result the season three lineups are now active from this race forward so i should let you know that dennis hauger has been let go as my teammate and my new teammate is felipe drogovic meanwhile we're in q1 trying to get ourselves a decent lap time we're in p8 and we ended up in p12 but here's another key move pierre gasly has gone to mercedes Valtteri Bottas is now in Alpine. Kevin Magnussen in McLaren. I think that happened over the course of this season. Ocon has moved to Aston Martin. Lance Stroll has gone back to Alpine after a season at Mercedes. Theo Porsche makes the move to Aston Martin as Ocon's teammate. So it's an all-French lineup at Aston Martin. Nick De Vries has been demoted to Alfa Romeo. Liam Lawson still at Williams and... Yeah, I believe that's all the changes that have happened for this season. So, we up to speed? Yes? Good. Right, now we're in Q3. We've got past Q2, and I'm trying once again to get a competitive time. We are off the back of two race wins in a row. One at Portimao, one at Vegas. Can we make it a hat-trick of wins here? I'm not sure, but we're going to give it our best shot. Qualifying is now complete. Where are we on the grid? It was very wobbly out the last corner, to say the least. But what is our grid position? It is P5, so not quite a strong qualifying, but opportunities could come a-knocking when the race is a-rocking. Welcome to the Yas Marina circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula One season. It's been a breathtaking year and we end it at a track that's been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yas Marina circuit is made up of 3.28 miles of track featuring 16 corners with two very long straights. The DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both turn five and turn seven offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Gasly, Sparkles, Norris, Sainz, Bottas, Perez, Stroll, Magnussen, Ocon, Drogovic, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Albon, Joe, Theo Porcher, Liam Lawson, De Vries, Sargent, and Oscar Piastri. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. For one final time then in Season 2, we are on the grid. What can we do from here? P5, it's lights out and away we go. Max Verstappen clearly didn't get that memo. He was not away well at all. Round the outside of him, Pierre Gasly is attempting to go. We've held position in P5. Did Gasly get past Verstappen? No, he did not. So Pierre Gasly having to retain position. I'm having a look at Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. Lando Norris is behind me, but nothing in doing there. To the outside we go for the better exit. Norris having a little cheeky poke up the nose on the inside, but there was nowhere to go there. Down the long straight we go. Are we getting any closer to Leclerc? Are we also having a chance of a bit of a slipstream? No, but on the brakes, we're very late. We're diving down the inside, and we've just caught the Ferrari driver napping. Leclerc clearly not very alert at this stage of the race and we've gained the position 
Now Pierre Gasly is having a look around the outside of the defending champion Max Verstappen who comes here with an outside chance to take the championship himself. Carlos Sainz also comes here with a chance of taking the championship. He is currently further down the grid though and I'm going down the inside of Max Verstappen to take P3. Little bit of contact made as Verstappen was defending but nothing in doing in that. We are now up into third and Verstappen can be Leclerc's problem for a while. And we are now up into P3, chasing down the two Mercedes of George Russell and Pierre Gasly. What a strong lineup they'll have for Season 3. And they're making their Season 3 intent very clear, because they're starting to disappear into the distance. And I'm start fending off Max Verstappen. Well, I'm not going to fend him off very well if I take that line, because Verstappen has now gone through. But I've got such a better exit round the left-hander, owing to how deep I've gone. Verstappen, oh look at the opportunistic diving I'm having to take, had to break and then I took avoiding action and then dived down the inside and somehow turned it into an overtaking move, that is, uh, chef's kiss is beautiful, although what's not beautiful is that we've got a Williams out of the race and I believe that is Logan Sargent pulling off to retire, his season 2 ending, well not very well at all really. Now Charles Leclerc is up my rear. He's having a look around the outside. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just going to let him go here. Because I can then get a cheeky bit of DRS. Get faster on the straight and say, Sayonara, dude. Or whatever the Monogast equivalent for see you later is. Anyway, down the straight we go. MP3. But Leclerc is going to have DRS for the next one. And Max Verstappen is still waiting in the wing. And thanks to the glitch, Fernando Alonso, Alonso isn't here to defend his chance at the crown. So Verstappen's going all out to win it. I'm letting Leclerc through to try and get DRS again. But I'm trying to avoid him. And I've been hit by Verstappen and round we go. I was trying to avoid Leclerc because I wasn't sure what line he was taking. And Max just plows into me and round I go. I think Leclerc was on the racing line, but I think he got a bit deep. I then try and cut to the very inside to avoid him but Max was already there and as a result I've been punted round Max has front wing damage and the safety car has made its first appearance in this race I'm now wiggling about trying to get the dust off my tyres and trying to get them cool but it's gone wrong okay, for me this stage of the race right the safety car is coming in and so too is Sergio Perez why would you not pit under the safety car? Why would you pit just as the safety car is coming in? I do not know what's inspired that particular decision by Perez, but the current order is now the two Mercedes and Leclerc and Bottas in the top four. I'm in fifth and Ocon in the Aston Martin is looking to have a go and Carlos Sainz, who wants to get closer to Verstappen and get his chance for the title win, he's running seventh and he's now up to sixth. And he's now going for fifth, which he has taken around the outside there. But I'm going to have DRS here. And as it stands, Carlos Sainz would be champion. But there's still a long way to go here. Sainz goes defensive. I go to the middle of the track or the racing line. And because of the DRS, I had a better run. But I've got him very tight there. And Carlos Sainz is going to be through. Carlos Sainz is through. I've now got Ocon and Stroll right behind me, but guess what? I've got another helping of DRS to get past Carlos Sainz, and I hold on to the position. The Ferrari driver will be getting frustrated because he has a chance in the title, and Leclerc, well, he's not really helping things, is he? He's just doing his own race up in P5. But I've now gone very deep into the corner. That's allowed Sainz through. I've now got Ocon and Stroll right behind me, but I've also got no tyres left. So I've not really got much to fight as Esteban Ocon goes down the inside and takes P6 from me and does it quite effortlessly. I've now gone off the circuit and used all the curbs and I'm thinking at some point I am going to have to box because these tyres are finished. And I'm not having a great race at all. I'm down to P7 and after two straight wins this is not where I want to be. So I'm thinking we're going to pit this lap. I've gone wide though. And I try and recover to get myself back into the pits. But Stroll was not expecting me to be there. He smashed into the back of me as a result of me wobbling in 
in and out of the corner. I've got a five second penalty for that, which you know what, I will take full responsibility and say, pardon me, that was partially on me. So I'll take responsibility for that, for my share of that crash. We're now back out after the safety car on hard tyres in P10 and we've got it all to do. A lot of the drivers in front of me though have tyres that are a little bit older and the first victim is, Ma is Kevin Magnussen although Magnussen fighting the inside line there and keeping the position as I'm struggling to move up ahead of P10. And we've got my teammate Drugovic in P12. Drugovic hoping that in his debut for the team he can pick up a point. And I am just going through this race now thinking, you know what? I cannot wait to drive next season's car with the upgrades on it. And I'm hoping that next season's car will be a championship contender. First, try, we try to pass Magnussen. Magnussen very tight in the corner, but we do get past. And now we're on to Ocon. Round the outside of Ocon we go. Ocon holding it round the inside beautifully. He's bang wheels with me, but he's now backed out and we take P8. Next up is Sergio Perez in the Red Bull. And that's Carlos Sainz just ahead of him. And with everyone pitting now, I'm sure Verstappen is somewhere in the mix. I'm not sure where he is exactly as that's very tight round there. But we're now trying to get past Sergio Perez for P7 and get ourselves back to where we were a few laps ago before the Stroll incident. It's not easy to pass here at all. Closing in on Carlos Sainz. Are we going to be able to have a look down the inside here? Yes, we are. And we are going to be through down the inside. Although Sainz is holding it. And he's actually fighting back. But we have got past him. And Verstappen then is fourth. But he's on significantly older tyres. Because he pitted in several laps before us. And that's going to have a strong disadvantage around here. As I found out when my tyres were struggling. So Verstappen... Not with the advantage of tyres at all. It's all kind of going wrong for him at this stage. And now we're trying again. But we've gone a bit deep there. That's not going to help. Now we're going to have a look down the inside of the chicane. Bottas has made his way through. And now we have passed the Red Bull. And deprived him of a further position. Gasly still in third. So Gasly having a strong debut for Mercedes. I do wonder where he's going to end up. But now we're fighting Bottas trying to get P4 off the Alpine driver, signed to Alpine for season 3 and I bet you he's excited to run through this season, now we're going to have a look down the inside, is, is there room to go, not really Bottas holding his line around the outside I'm also now going around the outside of the next corner and how is that for an overtake you don't see that overtake happen often, but here we have made that overtake happen and we are up into P4. Charles Leclerc now running in second. And he's going to have Pierre Gasly for company. I'm letting Bottas straight back through. Because I'm not giving him the DRS advantage. No way, Pedro. Anyway, down the straight. DRS activated. Look at the slipstream we've got. Look how defensive Bottas is going. But we're going back to the racing line. I'm breaking as late as I dare. Bottas breaking a bit later, however... He is not willing to let this go. And I've just given the curb a clobber, which has cost me a couple of tenths a second in doing it. But now we're coming back after Bottas. He's going to defend again. I'm going to try and sweep round the outside. Uh, well, that's a bit late for sweeping, but Bottas holding his line. I'm going to go deep. No, we hold the line side by side. Oh, you do not want to go side by side here. Oh, we batted Bottas off the track. But he's still holding it out there. This is great action here in the final race of the season. This does have an end of term feel to it, this race. And we want to go out on the highest possible note. I've gone deep again. And this time I've lost the place to Bottas. But look at the run I've got. I'm going to try and go down the inside of him. And that's not worked. We've tagged him and round we go. And we've spun round and oh, oh dear, oh dear. We have caused okay, complete right, devastation with that. Felipe Drogovic is out. Max Verstappen is now out. Carlos Sainz is now out. All the championship contenders wiped out in one spin from me. Oh, yeah, that, that's, 
I, I hoped that that little look I took would work, but I clipped Bottas, went round, and ended two title contenders' hopes of being world champion, which means that Fernando Alonso is your season two champion, and he retires on his championship season. Pierre Gasly is your race winner here, though. Who saw that coming? Pierre Gasly wins out, and for us, somehow, despite the level of devastation caused, I'm rounding out the season with points and P6. All right, race wow, over. what Take a race. today then but bittersweet emotions i'm sure as the championship slips through their fingers even so what a fantastic final race of the season this was tell me out how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today i feel like consistency was probably the key today there's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap if you can do that you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take the top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So let's see what effect this So the top three kind of swapped in the end, with Russell taking third and Pierre Gasly moving into first, and Charles Leclerc just retaining second. But a great win for Gasly to finish his season on the highest note. I wish I could say I finished my season on a high, but but that that doesn't really count as a high. I mean that I caused so much devastation that Logan Sargent and Nick DeFree score points. Also, I do apologise because I wrongfully stated that Sargent was out of the race, so it must have been Liam Lawson. But there you go then. Fernando Alonso is your champion. Signs who has equal points but less wins second. Verstappen third. Then it's Russell Perez Leclerc. We got seventh in the end. We were just two points shy of hitting our target of beating Charles Leclerc in the championship. Then it's Lando Norris, Lance Stroll having a good season for Mercedes, Magnussen, Gasly moving up to 11th with his win, Nick De Vries a dis disappointing 12th, and then it's Ocon, Albon, Bottas, Hauger, Porsche, Hulkenberg, Piastri, Lawson, Sargent, and the drivers that didn't score were Joe, Sonoda, and Drogovic. So, that concludes Season 2. I am hoping that when it gets to Season 3, we have a championship winning car. That is the goal for next season. To be champion. And to cause significantly less devastation than we did in this race. And we end the season P6 of the Constructors. McLaren just pipping us for P5. But not a bad way to go. Thank you for watching season 2. Please join me when season 3 commences.